In this video, I'll show you three separate examples on how to convert from a decimal number to a binary number. I've already shown you how to go from binary to decimal. Going from decimal to binary is slightly more complicated. Let's start with question one, and this is considered to be easy. But don't be fooled. Even though it's easy, there's still quite a lot of work that you need to do. So we have to convert 59, which is a decimal number, into binary. And to do this, we'll start off by taking the number 59 and dividing it by 2. 59 divided by 2 is 29.5. Now I've written down a pointer here, and it's really important that you pay attention to these. Whenever you divide a number, if it gives you a remainder, as shown here, you will read that as 1. So the way we read the first iteration is 1. Then in your next iteration, only take the whole part of the number. So next we'll take 29 and divide that by 2. 29 divided by 2 gives you 14.5. Once again, a decimal is produced, so that's read as 1. We'll take 14 next. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 gives us no remainder, so that's read 0. 7 divided by 2 gives us 3.5. There's a remainder there. It's a 1. 3 divided by 2, and notice that I'm only taking the whole numbers. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. It's another remainder taking only 1, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 gives us a remainder. Therefore, that is read as 1. Now that we've reached a number less than 1, as outlined in the pointers, we stop. Notice that we've stopped at 0 0.5. Once you get to that point, you will read this upwards. And that's another pointer here, where I say, your final answer is read upwards, therefore, 59 is 111011 in binary. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is considered to be slightly harder, and it should read B, not A. So this time we need to convert 0 0.546875, and this is a decimal number into binary. What you do in this situation, notice that our decimal number is less than 1. Instead of doing this division, we actually have to multiply by 2 each time. So let's start off by multiplying 546875 by 2. If I multiply this number by 2, I end up with 1.09375. Now, since we get a mixed number, we have to read this as 1. So this is read as 1. Next, what I'll do is take only the decimal part of the number everything after that decimal, and multiply that by 2. If I multiply this by 2, I end up with 0 0.1875, and that is read as 0 because there's no whole number along with the fraction part. I'll take 0 decimal 0.1875 and multiply that by 2. If I do that, I end up with 0 decimal 0.375. There's no whole number, that's read as 0. I'll take 0 decimal 0.375, multiply that by 2, and I end up with 0 0.75, another 0. And you'll continue doing this until you reach 1. Next, we'll take 0 0.75 and multiply that by 2. I end up with 1.5. 1.5 is a mixed fraction, so that gets a 1. There's a whole number. And I'll take this 0 0.5, multiply that by 2, and I end up with 1. Once you reach 1, that's it, you're done. And of course, this is read as 1. That's like saying 1 decimal 0. The way you read this is downwards. Therefore, this number, this decimal number, is the same as 0 0.100011. And you want to distinguish a binary number from decimal by putting a subscript 2. Let's move on to the last question. We have to convert 82.7 into binary. Now, this is considered hard because it requires a lot of work. Let's start with the whole part. 82 divided by 2 gives us 41. 41 has no remainders. That's read as 0. 41 divided by 2, that's 20.5. There is a remainder, so it's 1. 20 divided by 2 is 10. No remainder, so that's a 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 
no remainder, another zero. Five divided by two is 2.5, a remainder, so there's a one. Two divided by two gives us one, no remainder, so it's another zero. And remember, you stop when you find a number that's less than one. We still have to do one more iteration. One divided by two gives us 0 0.5. That's a remainder, obviously, and we read that as one. We will read this binary upwards. So everything to the left of the radix point, the decimal for a binary is one zero one zero zero one zero. Now let's find out what's to the right of the radix point. To do that, we will have to work on 0 0.7. The same way we did in part B. 0 0.7 times 2 gives us 1.4. I'm going to take this 0.4 and multiply it by 2 again. And 1.4 is read as 1 because we have a mixed fraction. 0 0.4 times 2 is 0 0.8. There's no mixed fraction here, so that's read as 0. 0 0.8 times 2, that gives us 1.6. It's a mixed fraction, so it's a 1. 0 0.6 times 2 gives us 1.2, another 1 of mixed fraction. 0 decimal 2 times 2 gives us 0 0.4, and that is read as 0. Now, I'm not going to continue past this point, because take a look. Remember back when we multiplied 0 0.4 times 2, we ended up with 0 0.8. So if we continue to go on, we will end up getting the same reading. So it will repeat after five iterations. Therefore, our final answer is this number, and that's the radix point, 10110. And to show repetition, I'll put these three dots, an ellipsis. And there you have it. Three examples on how to convert from decimal to binary numbers.